that to get at me, I'm the plug. Really on the plug, really on the plug. What up, though? It's your boy Go DJ. And it's your girl Maddie D. And this is the plug you heard. The plug. You heard. You heard. We got two special <laughs> guests in the building right now. Hey. You know that, man. You know that, man. What's good, man? Appreciate y'all having us and all that. Well, mm. welcome. You know that. Yeah, right. Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. You know, I've been here before. You know, I'm bringing yeah. my dog. She 100K. He, he a newcomer to the uh, the plug show. So, That's a yeah. You know. but the last yeah. time we I was just saying to our new our new uh, setup. Yeah, yeah, our new yeah. setup. You know, last, last time, time I was there. Nice, I'm an originator. Yeah, yeah. You was there. We was in the Facts. college radio. We was in there putting in that work. Yeah, early you know in the saying? game. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that was Remember years was ago. Like, uh, what Johnson and Wells? Nah, Rick, Rick, Rick. Rick. Okay, Rick. I'll be mm-hmm. mixing them up. I'll be mixing them up. Jeez, that was three, four, f- you know, six. How many years ago? That was when I first started rapping. Uh, four years ago, yeah. Four years yeah. ago. Yeah, that was when I first started making music. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn, that's just mind blowing my <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's dope too because of how far we came. I think I, I was it like, I think I made that flyer, mm-hmm. oh, you and that did. was before we even had like a graphic designer, mm-hmm. anything like. No bullshit. Uh, it's it. dope to From see how far like yeah. we come. Yeah, no so. bullshit. And we all, and it's like now it's it's like you you see how we, well, well we came from back then and we're progressing and it's just like another level. It's like you know still doing our same same thing that we love to do, yeah. but yeah. we know we we leveling up. For those who don't know both of you guys, you want to introduce yourselves left to right? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, left to right. Oh, I mean, right to left. I was about to say my left to right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We're different, right? Yeah. All, right. All right. Well, um, yeah. I'm, I'm Jay Deuce, if you don't know. Uh, Pushing the Peddlers, uh, Buddha DNT, Long Live for the Recipe, Santa Fe, United Table, on the Table. And to my left. Yeah, that's me. She 100K. Big She, Big she 100K, you know. I'm just new. I'm new. I'm new to the PNP scene. I'm really from down south, North Carolina. He really family though. He really you know. he family with me. You know what I'm saying? Like really family yeah. with me. Like you know what I'm saying? But mm. you know, I'm out here though. Like people been checking for me. Uh, me and my boy, dudes. Just I just got about five tracks on his new album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can hear me out on there. And then I just got a couple videos that just dropped. Me and my boy Tommy, PNP family, my boy Zay too. So you can go to the PNP YouTube page and as long as you can find Deuce and now you can find me up there too. Nah, man. So you were you in Florida as well? Nah, I'm from I'm from Providence. Been here like a lot of like people. I'm from Providence. Like everybody knows me. If they don't know me, they just don't remember me. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I grew up since I was like 12 in North Carolina. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So you know what I mean. But as far as the rapping goes, this is I'm putting my my feet on the ground right now. You know what I'm saying? This year, you know what I'm saying. Nice. Rhode in Rhode Island, Island. cuz down south in North Carolina I got a little buzz and shit so nice. but you know I'm it's just time to working come back on home and, and you know put on for the forefront you know what I'm saying <laughs> the 401 nah, I mean definitely mm. speaking of PNP uh what's it called um no feelings hit like a million a, a million. whole milli that's just crazy how you, you feel about that it, 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 I really feel good because like like you know a lot of people like be cutting corners and a lot of people do like you know, fake views and fake likes, and 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 we really never cut a corner. Like, a, like people came to us, like you know, what I'm saying, like multiple times, like man, why y'all don't, man, nah, you know, run it, it take, up. Yeah, it take time, but you know what I'm saying. Rome wasn't built in a day, so at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I could really appreciate it hitting a million way more because it's organic and it's real, and it took time, and we and we really seen like every view go up from zero. Like I remember when we was watching Open, they have like 1,100, yeah. and people was telling us it was fire, and I didn't even like the song. I didn't really? even, I, no, like, no I cap. love that song. I still was Yo, <laughs> I sat down with Zay one day. I forced him to, to make the song. Like, we was high. We was bullshitting in the, in, the, in the trap, and I was like, bro, I got this song. We got to go back and forth on. And he was like, bro, I'm kind of tired. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, fuck that. I pulled this computer chair over there. We sat down. We wrote the song. We came up with it, we put it out, and um, everybody was like, yo, this shit's fire. And I was like, you know, I, you know, I fuck with it. And then <laughs> it was a, to, to date, it's the biggest song but, that I got. You like, know what I'm saying? So. That's something that's common, like, and when you are artists, though, like, you might not like what you did, and then just a listener listening to it, they're like, yo, how could you not like it? Like, you know what I'm saying? That happens a lot in music. Like, mm, Yeah, because it's your ear. And you probably, sometimes, you know, people have their own opinions on your music. So, like, that's why they have A&Rs and talent scouts like that. Cause, because them people see your potential more than you. You might not even see your potential. You see Kodak, shout out to mm-hmm. Kodak, but you see he has a lot of potential more than... He just now starting to realize who he could be and where he could go. It took a, it took a while. You know what I'm saying? Some people just don't have that insight. That's mm-hmm. a fact. 
and bring bringing back the the record at every like show or like somewhere you just see that song everybody singing every word for yeah. word for word yeah, that's so that's crazy, crazy seeing yeah. out from the outside looking in you know what i'm saying yeah it's crazy like i um shout out to dj diamond he he um he DJ one of my sets at at the Strand. Strand, yep, yep, yep. And um, shout out to the Strand, shout out to that the Rosendale group, and they and they they show me love all the time. They always put me in the building and shit. That's and, gang. Um, yeah, definitely. They show me love. Shout out to my boys over there. And when we did the set, I came out to run it up, and it was crazy. But when we did the No Feeling set, mm -hmm. like it was it, it it be like all right, I'm ending the night with that song, really. You know what I'm saying? So it'd yeah. be crazy when I when they when it finally dropped because it's like all right, I just did five songs. And then I'm bringing out no feeling. It'd be like I just came back out again. Like it'd That's be, crazy. it'd be, it'd be crazy. Like it'd be really crazy to me. Yeah. Word, yeah, word. I fuck with that song. I still listen to it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, especially you, from you, coming from here. Like you know what I mean. When like, you're like getting out the shower, you be ready, getting dressed. <laughs> fuck out your feelings. But it's crazy because. <laughs> It sounds like Zay's just like whatever on it, yeah. But, it, but that that's what makes it. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's the originality He's of it. Just like, like yo, I'm like fuck this shit. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I think that's what makes it, it. Yeah, when we was making it, I think we recorded. It was one of the last songs we recorded. It was probably like two, three in the morning. We all used to go to the studio deep, maybe like twenty deep, and shout out to Slick. And we, we 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 first started working with Slick, and Slick used to um give us a deal. I can't tell you what the deal is. You know, that's the <laughs> secret sauce. <laughs> yeah. He used to give us a deal. We used to come in there deep, and all of us used to chip in and get like twenty hours, maybe twenty. Like we, he might not give us the whole twenty for the day, but we'll get ten and ten or twelve or fifteen. So we shutting the whole day off, and then yeah. we'll be in there all day, and then probably like three in the morning we recorded no feelings, and it was like let's just get Niggas the song out. Tired. The way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Let's just get the song Work. out. The way. That's, That's when the best songs come out, though, I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The really hits, valid. baby. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, fact. definitely. It's crazy, man. It's crazy to, like, so, rapping. So you in PVD now. You staying or you going back to Florida? No, nah, yeah. I don't, I, I really, I'm going back to California. I'm I'm trying to, like, I have a lot of family in Florida, so I'm trying to move, like, most of my immediate family to mm -hmm. Florida. Okay. So, like, it's easier for me to go back and forth to Providence is, like, a place where I love its home, but, you know, I kind of want to get, it's a lot of more states here and mm -hmm. I'm trying to really like branch out with the music and um I like the weather the, the yeah. snow and, and and you know being cold all year round like I was raised in Florida from when I was like like maybe like six or seven mm -hmm. so my body is used to like you know I ain't come to Rhode Island until like 2010 until I was like 18 yeah. so I, I missed everything like so when I come down here in the weather and it's snowing it's cold mm -hmm. that shit that be just... killing me <laughs> so I, that's one thing that I wonder too like you was here from 2010 mm -hmm. but it's like your your music kind of like was so pivotal yeah as and as like a huge thing in in providence because of one the apple music yep, yep, and yep, stuff yep. like that yep. how do you feel like your dynamic and and um not really spending <clears throat> like not really growing up here but kind of like being from here push that forward and i kind of i understand what you're saying for, yeah for itself. i kind of felt like when I came here, I kind of felt like, all right, I'm not going. I was raised in Florida, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, Rhode Island needed a voice. Like it mm -hmm. was. I'm not saying I'm the voice, but I'm saying like I wanted to be one of the voices for here because it mm -hmm. was like I came here and I was like, you know, I've been a lot of places, and you know, New York has a song. Like yeah. Florida has a song. Like there's places that have songs for for the, you know what I'm saying. I came here and we didn't have a song. Like I, I used to. Be, I listened to a couple. I'm not hating on nobody. I listened to a couple of people's songs and I used to be like, eh, you know. But we need a song. That's the reason why I even made Southside of Pride. I was like, yo, so, so somebody got to come from out of here mm -hmm. and do it. Like, because I could have went to Florida and piggybacked off the big, the big wide variety of people being there and it's millions of people there and could have like, you know what I'm saying? But I felt yeah. like, yo, if I do it from home, it's way more original and nobody really did it. Like, you know, shout out to the people that's doing it, like the D Gomes and the OSFs and the people that's doing it, other people that's doing it. Like, we really like the only ones. Flawless. Shout flawless. out to Flawless. Yeah, you know nice. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we really the only ones doing it. You know what I'm saying? From yeah. here, like from this small state. So we got to be the ones to really show the world that we got what it takes to to, to be in a ring with all them other people just like Flawless did. He showed them. Rhode Island he people got out. Enough. Yeah, they got that's enough. Crazy. You, got, you can get in the ring with anybody. Like, that's you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's, that's for real. We built for a tough out here. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And that's what we got to show people because I've been in a lot of label meetings and they, they don't respect Rhode Island like not even the being an artist just you being from Rhode Island they really don't respect that we really have no identity when you talk to a label like when you go and mm -hmm. sit down and they're like where are you from and you say Rhode Island and they're like 
they don't yeah because they don't know where to put you like what bracket what to look put you like they don't know yeah. nothing like you know what i'm saying when you get a florida artist you know a nigga coming in there with gold teeth tattoos dreads yeah. you, that's what you're looking for Man. new york you coming in there you you want to see a montclair coat and some mary's or something like a rhode island nigga you like what am i expecting to come in this room right now in this meeting and then when i come in there and i'm talking country it's like you what said you from rhode island like you know what i'm saying it's yeah. it's, it's it's crazy so that's what kind of got me in the door me having that diverse music um catalog with with listening to down south music listening to up north music because a lot of labels really like the fact that i'm the best of both worlds that's what they say yeah makes sense mm -hmm. but the world wants to know where the hell has jay deuce been i've been i really was gonna sign a deal so i'd be i'll be truthful i had a, a situation where like money was the, one of the most important things in my life it wasn't really about music like you know what i'm saying it was really about money so at a time I was in Cali and I was around a lot of people that was doing a lot of major things like people was getting signed to Murder Beats and people was signing publishing deals and distribution deals and getting checks for 50000 30000 yeah. and I'm watching this stuff in front of me and yeah. I got deals on the table and I'm going to these meetings and I, my feet was really wet and my hands were sweaty and I was really ready and I sat down and talked to somebody that had a deal and that didn't it didn't really go through and it it just you know what I'm saying? They didn't discourage me, but he just let me know like the reality of the situation. Like, bro, you could get shelved like anybody else. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it could happen to anybody. It, it don't matter. And you from Rhode Island. You got you really don't have nothing to like you don't I like when I go to a label, I have really nothing to offer them because I'm from the smallest state in the world. So I can't even be like I got my hometown behind me because they gonna be like, okay, well, that's not even a million people. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? So it's like, I was in a situation where I really was just gonna take the money and try to see what I could do with it. So, and I, they was kind of holding a lot of the music that I dropped in, on that tape. Like they liked a lot of that music and they was trying to like really take it and me sign and 60, 40 publishing. And they was trying to take 60% and it was just like, it was, it was Yikes. yeah. And I was negotiating for a long time just to like, Maybe like three months ago, I sat down with um, my boy Alejandro, Buddha ENT. We came up with the plan to, to do the label with Buddha ENT and do the independent shit. Mm. And just go independent. Like, fuck it, we got, we got a little bit of budget. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't got the money that the label was offering. We don't got millions, but we got a little budget. So, you know what I'm saying? At least we'll have, when I go back to them this time, I could negotiate the numbers. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I could have some. I got more fans and I got people from across the world. This ain't just New England. This mm. is now, it's, you know what I'm saying, on the forefront. So, that's what I'm trying to build right now, and that's what I was really going through, like negotiations. Mm -hmm. I really was. I would have signed, and one of the people that I signed over there, he doing his thing. So it kind of like my boy. Shout out to my boy Lambo, my boy Lambo Anlo. He's from DC. He's um, if you ever look him up, Lambo Anlo. He got some songs. He got a song called "Wish Me Well." It's like a million views on on um, YouTube, and nice. he's doing his thing. He like you know what I'm saying. So. I mean, some people, some some situations work for people, and some situations don't. I know, I don't even know if that situation would have worked, but mm -hmm. I'd rather, you know what I'm saying, build a safety blanket around myself before I just jump out in the water with the sharks. Like, are you happy you made that choice? Kinda, yeah. At the end of the day, I own myself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they don't own themselves no more. So, mm -hmm. like, if a situation comes and the music don't go where you want it to go, or they don't like the way it's going, or whatever, like. Now you on your ass. Now you back to square one. You know what I'm saying? And you you don't own none of the music you made for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they keeping. You know what I'm saying? Them deals is yeah. <laughs> them deals. And these deals is nowadays. It's not really like three sixties no more. It's really like you get like ten percent royalty deals and 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 shit like that. So it, you either got to shoot for a label deal or mm -hmm. just. You got to be a boogie or somebody that just, or uh, like Lil TJ or one of them big rappers, Blueface or the baby or somebody that just pop. You can negotiate whatever the hell you want. Yeah, they got to yeah, give yeah, you I'm whatever you, you want. You know, but if it's not like that and you up and coming like us, they trying to they trying to take everything you got because they don't know if you gonna pop. Soldier Boy kind of changed the game for us. So now it's like, all right, we don't know if he's gonna do what he's. What, he might blow mm -hmm. up and make sell twenty million. So we yeah. got to get him now. Way before that, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Is that a piece of advice that you'd give like an upcoming artist? Like, don't don't let them listen. I went to Atlanta, and um, I was in the booth. I was in the, the uh, I wasn't like recording with none of these rappers, but I was just around them because the person that I was with, he knows all these people. He just was basically trying to get my eyes open, like trying to just just get me my mouth watering. He took me to a big ass house, yeah. way out in Buckhead, and was like, "Yo, this could be yours." Like it was it was I was seeing the house for me to buy. Like you know what I'm saying? took me to the car lot i'm sleeping in a big mansion like 
He bringing me to Jagged Edge house. We did doing songs and smoking weed. I'm just chilling like, like I'm. This is the life, like, nigga. Yo, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to come and two days later be like, yo, read that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's all a ploy to get you to sign a deal. It's all yeah, a ploy to get you to sure. get your eyes open to get your hands sweating. So you got to just pay attention, man. Go with your gut. If you feel like that's what you want to do, then that's what you want to do. But you got to really pay attention. Get you a lawyer that you trust. Mm. Don't lawyers is, lawyers will get you too. Get your lawyer that you trust and leave it in God's hands. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, that's all you can really do. That's really dumb. Man, man, these mm-hmm. these dudes are sharks out here. But it's the way of the game, yeah. yeah. It's the industry. It's the money, it bro. You know, you you read. I read something right. Labels. At the end of the year, they making like uh, I don't even know, but it's billions. And the artists at the end of the year are making like like twenty five million, and they're making so the, the number <laughs> like they don't even correlate. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that just that shit don't even make sense. Like you know what I'm saying? It's just, I mean, it's that's the way it, of the world. It is like that's just the same thing. It's the concept of the working world, regardless. It's just on a bigger scale. Like mm-hmm. that's just like the nigga at McDonald's only make nine dollars, but the nigga that own that shit make millions. He's a millionaire. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a bigger scale. That's just all Capitalism. it is. Capitalism. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at McDonald's, he's selling his own food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, he's selling your shit. This is your shit. You coming up with this off your brain. Off, you know what I'm saying? The, like, that's the tricky part of signing that's the, them dead. Yeah, that's the tricky part about you music. You, your you creativity. You yours. selling your creativity. Yeah, you not selling. Yours, they don't you, uh, understand that. They think they selling deal. content. You not selling content. You selling your creativity. You selling your, your mind. Your yeah. You voice, sell, like, once what? you sign that paper and it say a certain thing, now everything that you come up with up here is not yours anymore. You, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's That's somebody crazy else's. To think of that too. Yeah. That way. It's People like, don't think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? I I sat when I sat down with Rico Way. He 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 started the Dungeon Family. Like he was my first mm. manager ever. You know what I'm saying? And he was telling me like, bro, it's it's really it's sharks out here, bro. He done he he done it like stop. Making music and everything, like just went on a hiatus, like and just disappeared. He still did. He went on tour with Big Boy just now when he did that Boomerverse album. Mm-hmm. But he's like, bro, I'd rather live my life. Like you know what I'm saying? It's really yeah. crazy out here. Like the way you, it's fake love and fake, fake smile. You go shake a nigga hand, and right after that, he he sign a deal that gets you cut right out. Like it's yeah. crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. Like, you know? What I'm saying? Sounds like real estate. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, showing, they're showing that Stress. same person the same shit they're showing you at the end of the day. Exactly. So he he, he kind of let me know a lot early. Like you know what I'm saying? He was letting me know a lot early, and I I really appreciate that because if it went for him, I would have signed the deal. Yeah. Man, I would have been signed to do. You know what I'm saying? I would have been like, fuck it. I just mm-hmm. want the money. Like, mm-hmm. And I, I would have took the money and tried to do something with it. But I didn't know the back end and I didn't know all this stuff about back ends. And, the, and the, I didn't know all. I didn't know nothing, really. Yeah. He taught me about, like, you know, when you sign a deal, Business. you want your front end, you want your front end to be smaller than your back end. You want that back end to be big. So whatever way y'all go out, and like, whatever, if y'all fall out on bad terms, the money that they got to pay you at the end is the lump sum. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. And people, people don't. You know, people want the money up front. Up like, front, so yeah. Blow so, that bag. Yeah. So when the back end come in, it's twenty thousand, and, and you done gave them five albums, and you like, what the hell? Where the, where the money at? Like, you know what I'm saying? I need to eat. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's it's crazy, man. It's like it's a lot to it, and a lot of people think it's just like making music. Like a lot of people think just to get on you, I just gotta, I just gotta record a a, a video. And I just gotta get to the studio and and, shit and record a bunch of music and shoot a bunch of videos and just and just put out a bunch of shit on YouTube and and I'ma get on like two hundred fifty thousand mm-hmm. to get you a number one record. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like <coughs> it's two hundred fifty thousand to get you a number one record. It ain't even about music. Like it's That's about cash money. Money. That's what it's about, man. Coach K even said it. You know what I'm saying? So the you as oh shit. Damn. So speaking of um speaking of a number one record and. And um, new music. Yeah. Uh, you just dropped the album. Yes, ma'am. Reload it. Yes, ma'am. Reload it. <laughs> Reload it. So actually, uh, speaking of just the title alone, what is what is the the um, reason you you titled it that? I I felt like I was in I had was holding a lot of shit in the chain before for a while. You know what I'm saying? I really I've been I've been ready to go. Like you know what I'm saying? But it's just like with that label situation and with signing, I was like I was just holding. I'm just sitting back like. I'm at the starting line and I ain't pulled the trigger yet. Everybody ready to race, and it was just like I was just like fuck it, man. I'm 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 reloaded now. I'm, I'm gonna put the bullets back in the chamber, 
And I'm going to start shooting this time. Like, you can't, can't waste no time. The gun getting rusty. You know what I'm saying? It was, so it was time to get right. And I felt like that was a perfect time. Like, I'm reloaded. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's time now. Like, you know, to say hello to my little friend. Boop, 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 boop. Tony Montana. <laughs> but um, so who's who's on the production side of this album? I it, have. Um, before, before I say before that. Is this an album mixtape? You know, do it's, people do the EPs? Like it's really like a tape. It's really it's a tape. not an album. I don't do albums because, and I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna tell y'all one more thing with y'all kids. When <laughs> don't <coughs> label nothing as an album because then when you do go sign a deal and you talk to a label, yeah. then they gonna project your numbers off of what you did because you calling these albums. So now you have album numbers. You have projected album numbers that you don't even know about when they you go talk to them. Mm. Of Dane Pam, yeah, I gotta stop giving them free game. I'm giving them too much game, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's that's real that's shit. So fact. you know what I'm saying? You gotta call. That's why you think how you think everybody calling F- Fabulous drop fifty mixtapes, yeah, 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 and everybody dropping mixtape. He don't call not one of them an album. They album, they album good. Like the music is Quality. album ready, but yeah. it's not. Is he not doing that? Because you know it's 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 deep that that music shit it's is deep, really yeah, that yeah, shit's yeah, deeper yeah. than rap like. yeah. yeah so this is a and it's it's dope like how one you speak very um well about the music industry and very uh i want to say like educated on it so do you study the music industry a lot and so yes ma'am yes ma'am it's um and uh, like a, a for for somebody else that don't want to take the time that i took you can really go watch like a Russ interview. Like people, people mm. rash him and people do oh, all that yeah. shit to him. Like he had an interview where it was he sat down with Joe Buttons, and he kind of like broke down like the just the gist of it, like how it really goes. So it's like if you're not studying, well, why are you in the business if you're not gonna study it? You 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 gonna get raped in yeah. some way somehow. You gotta learn. Just like you dealing with drugs, if you don't know how much an eighth way, how you gonna sell it? Like you gotta learn these things. Like you know what I'm saying. I know mm-hmm. people that done sold ace. They hold, like sold weed for a long time and didn't really know what a pound, how much ounces was in a pound. Like you know what I'm saying. Like how you how you been selling drugs all this time? You don't really know because it's just people don't really take the time to really you know what I'm saying. Do the education part of it. People just like the clout. The clout and, that and the one fame. hit that. I don't even like the fame. I don't. I don't. I don't even like it. Like one day somebody sent me a um a Snapchat of my son. And he was somewhere with his family, and I was like, I was, I was, yeah. that shit went through mm. me. Like, and I got mad. It wasn't, they wasn't even on no funny shit. Like, it was like, oh, yeah, son. And I was just like, yo, like, no, like, no, no, no. this rap shit going too far now. Like, yeah. hell, And it was so now you didn't even know at I all. don't even know them. Like, they just sent me a snap. Some just told me to watch it. Like, cause I never, people hit me up on Snap all the time, and I never watch their shit, so I never open them. Not, mm. not to hate on them or not to just ignore them, but a lot of people hit me up. So I read the ones that I can, and one day I opened it, and I was like, what the hell? I called him. I was like, yeah, I just, and he had a party. Da, 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 da. I was like, nah, yeah, hold what up, the man. Hell? Like, I went and got my baby. Like, oh, no, nah, man, I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, he wasn't, in no, he wasn't nothing wrong, but that the thing. It's an invasion yeah. of privacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, you, and you, you got no, really no... I can't say nothing. Mm. I put myself out there. I want to. I got an Instagram. I got a Facebook. You know, I want to post and make music, and then I want to make good music, and people adapt to it. I gotta take what comes with it. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's a lot comes with the shit, man. Yeah. For sure. Getting back to the album, uh, but back to my question about <laughs> the producers on the album, mm-hmm. the production, and all that. Who's you working with for this whole album? Um, oh, this mixtape, my fault. All right, my boy. Uh, shout out to Foster, man. Oh man, Foster. He um he got signed to Murder Beats. So one of the tracks I didn't even put it on. I didn't even put it on there because I ain't really want to go through the clearing and all that. Oh, even with Ben Jane, I got a track with Ben Jane. I was gonna put on the album, but I didn't really want to put it on there because I knew it was gonna. Through, I had to go through the clearing process. I don't know how long it's gonna be, so I didn't really want to go through that. But I got um I got uh, my boy Picasso. He from London. And um, he's like, he a problem. He do his thing. And um, Troy Picasso on, on Instagram. I got this 16-year-old guy. His name's Ken. And he's Ken two times. And he's from Australia. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he's like, I didn't even know he was 16. Like, the people just, he just <laughs> sent me the beats and stuff. And I was, you know, I was just working with him. And um, 
one day he hit me up on Instagram. He's like, bro, I'm 16. I'm in class listening to your music. I'm like, what? They don't have the AirPods in yeah, class we, not listening. Yo, <laughs> this teacher was clip. probably like, what the heck? In the middle of Australia. Yeah, like, who like is this, it man? Was, yeah, it was crazy. So, but like, you he, know he could take off at the end <laughs> yeah, of the day. He's, he's like, yo. 16. <laughs> like, yeah. he's 16. I, like, I couldn't believe it. All the time in the world. Him, uh, Slick. Shout out to Mike Slick. Dylan Joe on the beat. Um, Dave Maloney. I got my boy. Um, that's that's really who I was really working with, Dave Maloney. I've been working with him a lot. Um, me and Gorilla got some new shit cooking up, but them them really the producers. Gorilla on the beat. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Gorilla, you know, he was in the army for a little bit, so he used to go, you know, off on his little trips for the army and have to do shit for the army. And he was still coming back putting out hits. But that uh, that could be interesting though. You got to think what you hear in the army. Your ears listening to the sums and you might hear some some sound. You're like, yo, this shit might clap, but that that may be gunshot. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's just crazy. That's yeah, interesting. He was he was he was doing this thing, man. He just had a baby. Congratulations to him. And um, yeah, so we've been with, like I've really been trying to like the, like I really the producer part of it, a lot of people be trying to get me to like, oh, you should buy a beat from this person, or you should hit up this person to get one of them. The beat don't matter to me, mm-hmm. like. The beat never really matters. As long as it's good, I don't care who made it. Yeah. Like you could make it right now. As long as it's hot, I'm jumping on it. Like you know what I'm saying? It's not really about who cause you can anybody can make the beat hot. You don't want the beat to make you hot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You never you're not getting in the business for the beat to make you hot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the whole thing with beats and producers like I don't I work with I work with this twelve year old if he make a hot beat. Hot beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Just open, Give but him I feel his credit, like, you know I feel like you you stay true to your sound and your flow, mm-hmm. and you still hit that same like pocket. The I I can say, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. oh, this is a J Deuce track. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that, dope that you you continue to you know. <laughs> and that's why I started working with Sheed, because like me and Sheed used to be way back in the day. We'll be we, we was probably like maybe like seventeen, eighteen. We'll mm-hmm. be up. Two, three in the morning, smoking weed, just rapping, beats yeah. playing, we just rapping. Every beat, I'm talking, we had a, a, a tape with like 50 beats, mm-hmm. and every time a song will go, it'll just play a new beat, and we'll just be rapping all night to about three, four, five in the morning. Wow. So when we came, when I came this time, I came to visit. I, I um, we opened the, uh, the smoke shop in Cranston over there on Park Ave, mm-hmm. and then um, once we did that. Um, I did the book bag drive. We opened Mel's Smoke Shop in Cranston. I did the book bag drive on Glenham. We gave out the book bags, and then me and him started working. Heavy. Like, you know what I'm saying? We started working yeah. heavy. And then that's what kind of made me want to stay for a little bit because I was like, yo, we starting to make a lot of music, and, and the shit was going crazy. So, it was, you know, it was it was time to do some new shit. Mm. So he, he actually is on a, about five, five songs rhythms. on that album. Yeah. But would you guys ever do like a joint tape together? That's what we're yeah. doing right now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly, Everybody it, be asking us that right there, one question. Um, And it's crazy because we've been, it's like, it ain't really the name, but like we've been calling it the dynamic duo. Like mm-hmm. when we get on songs. It's yeah. the vibe. You gotta sound. hear how he it's said crazy. it. On, uh, on yeah, the new on this new song did. that's unreleased, I was on my shit. We was in the um, um, we was over there with my boy Generous. Shout out to Generous ones and two. Right you know, I already know. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> we was just going in, Pat and Riley, good weed, and then shit just comes together like that most of the time when being deuce like it's easy like five you know, ten minutes that's like, the time i don't even like you know what well, that's just like you know i'm 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 kind of one of those rappers i don't really have to never write nothing mm-hmm. like i never ever write anything story. like you know what i'm saying i go in the booth and i hear the beat and then that's that's it like you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and then me and deuce was like like he said we just had a Different type of connection in the music because we've been doing it since before niggas started taking taking it seriously. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dude started taking it seriously before me, mm-hmm. and he took off, and so you know what I'm saying now. It's, it's time, like, nigga. It's mm-hmm. time, nigga. You know what no, honestly, I'm you're listening top to bottom, and then it feels like two different like tape, like two different like tapes or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're like, oh shit, they're going back to back, back to back, the harmonizing the beats, yep, 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 the yep, bars yep. and shit. Yep, yep, you yep, know, yep. so it's it's a good play on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. That's what I um that's another thing too. Like I like to like I like do so he's always trying to say I'm saying and shit, Same. but like listen <laughs> I like, if you listen, no singing nigga. I got nigga, bars nigga. though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. nigga like you hear matchup. <laughs> yeah, if you hear matchup on there, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what match I don't know what's what number matchup is, right? But matchup is uh 
matchup is crazy. Like, and mm-hmm. that's him rapping. rapping. Like, we both we both rapping. Yeah. We both spitting bars. And it's funny that you bring that up because I wrote down a, uh, a line that you said the whole Trump joint. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was dying. Yeah. I, I, had to, I had to write that down. I'm like, <laughs> this guy's <laughs> you know wild. I and I had to mention it. You know, I got a text message about that when when the tape came out because I was really exclusive with the songs. I wasn't letting nobody hear them. Yeah. So when when uh, the certain female heard the tape, she kind of was like, yeah, sending the uh, Oh, so it's a real <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a true story. It's, 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 it's really no, this was, Is she Mexican? No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? You know, that shit's it's crazy. Really like, she I don't even. She ain't vote for him or nothing, but she she be she be on some shit like trying to defend like a lot of some of the shit that he do type shit like yeah like so you know I always call her a Trump supporter so it's like a funny thing makes Ooh, sense damn so you're telling me that that was a real connection that was a real thing I show you the text message I show you the text message after you know it, it, a plug you know. exclusive yeah definitely definitely wow. it's a true Jeez. story shout out to you I was just, you know, I even just though like the me and you ain't nothing but shout out to you he said me and you ain't nothing it was crazy wow shout out to you though wow it was crazy but wow Speaking of those records, those are like honestly like my favorite records on okay, the whole okay. tape. Like the uh, the what's it called? I actually wrote it down. What's it called? The is it that? Matchup is one of my favorites. And Match Man Down. Up, the the Man Down, yeah. Um, Man Down's fire. Man Down's fire. Feel. Very catchy. Very. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. That was one of my first songs where I was trying to put a little auto tune mm-hmm. on my voice a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you like, trying to be a singer, nigga. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> he, he be <laughs> he showing me a though. little sauce, and I was I was trying to you know learn a little something. Um, I was hustle and sacrifice, my fault. That yeah, yeah, shit yeah, is yeah, probably yeah. my best, my favorite song on that. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's just kind of not on a, not on a polo G shit, yeah. but like. You know, just yeah, think that some fun. real shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some deep, the melodies yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I like melodic. Concealed. Yeah, a lot. yeah. Concealed. I like Corner Boy Grizzly. Yeah. I listened to it a free, few times today. Free Corner Boy that. Grizzly, wow, man. Free, free Corner Boy, Boy Grizzly, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was there awesome. for that one. That was a classic. They did a little studio video and everything. Yo, like, and that song is crazy because we wasn't even supposed to do that song. We had a whole nother song, a whole nother beat. And um, Jenner sent two beats. And the first beat that we listened to, it was so hot that we didn't even listen to the concern mm. beat. We listened to the other beat. We listened yeah. to the other beat. And it was like, we was like, fuck, we didn't even listen to Conceal. And then, oh no, I'm coming from Boston. We getting, we buying hookah for the shop. And I just turned, I just turned it on. I was like, oh my God. Then I sent it to him. He was like, yo, I got a song today. I was like, listen, bro, we need to do this one. Like this yeah. one, I'm about, to, I'm about to write some crazy shit to this shit. Like that. He was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Nah, we got to the studio. I walked soon. Yeah, as soon as I got there, I walked right in the booth. Like I was like, "Yo, you ready?" G was, um, Slick was like, "Yeah, we we'll walked right in the booth." I laid it down. He was like, "What?" I was like, two minutes." Corner Boy Grizzly walked in there. Like for like two minutes, he walked in. He laid this down. I was like, "Because I, I did another song with him before, and we was just talking about like you know some some, some hood shit, like some little drug shit, but." This one was like some commercial shit. Like this one was like, okay, some radio shit. Like if we take a little bit of the curse words out and we put some money behind this, this this could get in some Spotify playlists and some, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, some spins and some radio spins and like, you know what I'm saying? We gotta do the right thing with that song. Like that's a mm. that's a real song. That's a fact. Yeah. Another another he surprised me on that one. Yeah. Where another um like little not a bar but in reality you're talking about niggas hollering about five racks. I'm like, damn, nigga, five racks is kind of a lot to ah. me, my nigga. <laughs> nah, cause it, it, that's a, that that was a situation where like a person needed a lawyer in yeah. Florida. It was like a Florida lawyer, like you know what I'm saying. And down here in Rhode Island, like people don't really pay that much for lawyers. Like I don't I don't know why. It? Yeah, fifteen. Like you know how much you got? Like niggas is catching gun charges paying fifteen hundred for a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. I paid sixty five for a lawyer here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chris Malay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> he um, he, a, he a good-ass lawyer. Check him out. But, um, like, in, in, in Florida, they, they dropping 5, 10, 15, 20,000 on lawyers. Thousand. I'm, talking about, I'm, I'm talking about seriously. Like, the charging, they catching kind of like the same type of charges niggas is catching here. But in Florida, niggas is dropping 20,000, 15,000. Down here, niggas are drop 1,500. 20, like you know what I'm saying depending on their money niggas is catching murder charges going to lawyer with going to uh, court with Chad Banks like you know what I'm saying like it's, how, well, you, the shit don't add up like you know yeah. what I'm saying but so me and my boy was having a conversation and I was telling him like 
you niggas hollering about five racks, bro. That ain't even bread. Like you, you scared to pay that for your. This your life. This your like, life. It's your yeah, life yeah, on yeah. the line. Like true, you talking. About, you, you you got the money and you talking about man. I don't, man, what? Mm-hmm. Man, you better get. And he was from Rhode mm-hmm. Island. Like you know what I'm saying. He wasn't from Florida. I'm telling him like niggas in Florida, bro. It's spending real money to keep themselves out of jail, bro. Like they, mm-hmm. you know, this shit like Law and Order. They coming in with the big dogs. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Down here, niggas, niggas coming in whatever lawyer that's giving them the best deal or the, the best lie that they want to hear. Like that's because yeah. the Florida man's fucking crazy. Crazy as hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone in but Florida, they go Florida the man. But they go by the book. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Down here, it's a lot of corners being cut. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like this, this is crazy down here. So in Florida, they going by the book. Like regardless of if you wrong, you wrong, bro. If you be, if you could beat them. They might make a mistake and you be wrong and you beat them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of people get lawyers because you, m- m- niggas be getting, niggas be big niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? So Up down- here is like a popularity contest with Bow. your lawyer. Bow. If your lawyer knows mm-hmm. the judge, you good. Bow. <laughs> you got to just he, get the most popular lawyer. <laughs> you know, because they got lawyers down here that snicks that old, that old favors. He might have mm-hmm. just got somebody else five on, on some lucky shit. Now you come in there with him and he got to he gotta get you the max. Just because he owed a lawyer, he owed a judge a favor because he done told the judge the person he had before you was his people's. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the district attorney and all that. Like, you know, they having dinner talking about you, talking about how they finna wash you up. Yo, that's it's, crazy. You know, it's, it's crazy. That's a whole different conversation. Yeah, that yeah, we it's could different. Take. Yo, it's that's different. crazy. It's different. it's different. But that's what that's where that came from. Like, with that song. Like, that, because my boy Louis, free my nigga Louis Dubai. You know what I'm saying? My nigga got caught with 300 racks. That's where that whole conversation came from. Oh, my okay. boy was going through the same shit where my we was talking about Louis and I was like, Louis knew in it, Louis gonna get him a good lawyer. He ain't, he ain't playing no games. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um my boy was like, Man, you five thousand five ten thousand, five thousand for a lawyer? <laughs> like, I don't give I don't care if I catch murder, man. I ain't giving no that. It's like psh. Five. And so I wrote that in the song, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why I said I got some friends that ain't even dead. You know what I'm saying? And then I said that niggas talking about five racks and it ain't even bread. I got some friends and they ain't even dead. That's that that whole part is coming from talking about money. Like people yeah. some people might be thinking I'm talking about people like Yeah, no, I was like shit. Yeah, nigga. I got some friends <laughs> and they ain't even dead. No. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So nah. like it's it's crazy. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. But overall the Tape is real solid. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I appreciate that, man. Real I took my You sent me it to me last night. I'm bad. I'm like, yeah, all right, yeah. let, me, let me see if I could end up falling asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. drunk as shit. Then I sat down and listened to it today. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I fuck yeah, with yeah, it. Man. I, I like think it's a it's a good body of work to have to be able to put, you know what I mean, out into yeah, Like, yeah. literally reload it. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, reload yeah, it yeah. with some fire. Yeah, some yeah, heat. definitely. I'm about to Rats. shoot, like, maybe, like, seven, eight joints off the tape of videos. And this time we we like I last time I did the YouTube thing with the local thing like all right we just gonna hit YouTube I never did a, like a major platform we ain't never been on World Star we ain't never like been on say Cheese we ain't never really did nothing to really put ourselves out to the world yeah. like you know what I'm saying this time like I got a catalog behind me now I got a bunch of songs so a person <laughs> could become a fan of me like if, if 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 I get in front of the right people and they hear my music they can go back. And, and listen to my old music and be like, damn, this nigga got a bunch of songs already. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And really go back and listen. I got a bunch of mixtapes on iTunes and all that, so they could really go back and really like, damn, this nigga been five for a little minute. Like, let me let me check out. And that's what I'm really trying to do. This time, we gonna do the global thing, like the mm-hmm. global international thing, where we gonna hit world star. We gonna try to get us. Now, I don't really want to do the famous feature thing. I don't really like, kind of like that. I want to be the famous feature. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing with me. I don't really want to piggyback off nobody. Not not no shame off anybody that's doing it. I don't that's them, like you know what I'm saying? But just my just that's just my opinion. Like so I'd rather just do it like my way. And it been working for me so far. Yeah. Word. Did you ever like get discouraged at a point? Like seeing like like Yeah. Say you have like a sold out show, you have everyone mm-hmm. singing it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was the men, you, yeah. it's still, still, still relevant. Nah, I know what still, you're you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. And like now, people are like, "Where's this dude at? Yeah. Like, I haven't seen this guy. Like, what's what's, what's yeah, the word with him?" I think it has a lot to do with just the industry because there's so many artists coming out all mm. the time. Yeah. It gets like oversaturated, but yeah. it's like when you have longevity, that's what matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's so. That's what and I that's why I was, yeah. yeah, that's why I was sitting back. Like, I really had to reevaluate. At one point, I really didn't know if I really wanted to do the music. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, all right, if I'm if I'm not gonna sign a deal, I was in California and I was in Florida and I was traveling around. I was living. I was having fun. I wasn't even like yeah. I wasn't even recording music. I was just having fun and I was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But then like 
you know, that's my passion. Like, music is my passion. So, and then the day I did, there's, there's times where I got discouraged, but not just because of Providence. I always, like, this this was never enough for me, like, ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love all my fans. Like, I love everybody that support me and everything. But, like, when I used to even do shows and stuff, I used to be like, man, like, shit's supposed to be bigger than this, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I came from Florida, bro. Like, it's niggas in Florida that ain't doing half the shit like I'm doing. They ain't doing half the numbers I'm doing that's getting paid more than me to mm-hmm. do shows. It's like, crazy. you know what I'm saying? In smaller venues with way less people. I'm talking about, I done seen a nigga, like, I know personally. I ain't gonna say his name. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shoot, him, shoot him in the foot like that. But this is my dog. But I done seen this nigga do a show with about 40, 50 people and get paid about five bands. Like, in Rhode Island, they ain't even trying to get. They you gotta fight them to get twenty five hundred just because you from Providence. If I was from three hours away, they'd give me twenty thousand to come here. I swear to God, if I, I if I was from New York and I dropped all my music in New York, Providence niggas would give me twenty thousand to come here. That's, a, that's an inter- interesting. Real, that's real live. Like Word. you know what I'm saying. So it's like, but New York is a bigger place and there's more people, so you look bigger. Bigger, yeah. you know what I'm saying, but. Like but you see my shows with A Boogie and all them niggas, you see the crowd. Mm-hmm. I'm at the same level as these niggas. There's no way it should be like that as an opener. If I'm opening for you, there's no way I'm supposed to be rocking this bitch like that. And then they come out, you rocking it. We at the same level. It ain't supposed to be like that. You know True what I'm saying? Story. So that's how like I realized like, man, I gotta get out of here, bro. You gotta get out of here. It's too little, bro. <laughs> he said it in first person, then third. <laughs> yeah, I had to, like, you know he said you gotta saying? get out of here, bro. It's real, like you know what I'm saying. Like I dropped a song called "Oh Yellow" on the track on um on the tape, yeah. and if you listen to it, I'm really saying like it's something about this town. Like you can see it all on the ground. You can see the potholes and everything. Like it's just something about this place. Like you got to get, like you got to get out of here. Like you can't. I can't wait to make it out. Like the, that's the last. That's the last like six bars, and I say I can't wait to make it out. That's everybody. Like you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. It's 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 home, and you love it, but. Yeah. You know, it's time to go, man. Especially your music ain't finna go nowhere from here. Ain't no labels here. You got a radio. You y'all one of the, probably one of the biggest radio stations in mm-hmm. in Providence. Like you know what I'm saying? Not to, like not to shoot anybody else down, but like that's just how it be. Like y'all in uh one on one one point one, the Cumulus radio station. Like you know what I'm saying? We there's no labels here. You know it's like man, yeah. If you making music and you want to you want to try to do something with it. Man, get the fuck out of here. Don't go to Atlanta. Go to California. California. But California, there's a lot of fake stars and you know, it's I, a lot of it's a lot of makeup, you, fake shit. That's because they trying to live a lot. Yeah. You don't gotta live a lot. True. You know what I'm but saying? You can get caught up in the world, you know what I'm saying? That's, a lot that, of people do. People are suckers. You a yeah. sucker. You get caught up in that shit, you a sucker. You weren't even supposed to be in the shit from the beginning. You weren't born in this shit. You weren't ready. When you ready, you gonna be in there with the shards bumping bumping elbows with, with with wolves and shit like it ain't nothing. When I was down there, I man niggas would influence you to do cocaine. Niggas, mm-hmm. you, it's all kind of drugs that people is doing around you that they be. I wish a nigga would. I'm me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna be me. And you ain't, no, I smoke my weed and I'm always do my music and I'm always be myself. I ain't gonna hold my tongue for nobody or nothing. Like it's not about being arrogant. It's just about being yourself and being happy being yourself. Don't mm-hmm. go to California if you ain't happy being yourself. They gonna have you on shrooms and shit. That's a fact. Depressed. All the music yeah. they make down there is depressed because they all on them depressed drugs. They drinking lean. They popping perks. They taking. You know what I'm saying? Them is drugs yeah. that's making you down. So you know that's why all that music be like niggas always talking about the pain they went through and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it's live Shit's down crazy. there. It's more of an open market. That's why I say go to Cali. Oh no, for sure. 100%. When you go to Atlanta, you gotta kind of have be connected. With it down there, you go to Cali, you can really like build a buzz if you got some some drive and some some talent and some you know what I'm saying some ambition. Right. Well, speaking of being out of town, mm. um, one segment that we do is a scenario. Scenario, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. let us know what what you would do in this. Scenario. Okay, okay. So um, say yeah, yeah, I'll just stay in a club, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I live okay. yeah, in live. Florida. Or you're, Florida. you're in, in um, what's the club in 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 LA? Is it Poppy? We'll say Poppy because the other one's kind of racist. Playhouse, yeah. Playhouse is fucking crazy. Yeah, Pet Playhouse, is, Pet Pet House, Pet House, Penthouse, yeah. Dave Party. Oh my god. We'll we'll yeah. go with Live because because okay. you was men, uh, I've been in Florida. Yeah. yeah, I've been to Live. Can I ask the question again? 
So uh, say you and live, Miami, shit's popping. Yep. You hear your record just booming. Mm-hmm. Woo! The DJ's like, shout out to Lil Baby, new record right here. <laughs> you already know what it is. This shit's that fire. <laughs> and you're sitting there like, yo. This is my record, nigga. <laughs> I what went, are you I doing? I done went crazy. The first thing I would have did, I would have looked around and make sure whoever was with me was somewhere I could locate them. And we was going straight to the DJ booth. Yeah. <laughs> we was, going we was to marching to that yeah, bitch. We, even playing. we was going straight to the and DJ booth. And you throwing my shit back on. Yeah. <laughs> with and the I would have faked them. I would have pulled out a couple hundred. Hey, hey, bro, let me play some, play some for me. Hey, let me play some for me. He would have been like, oh, yeah, send him up here. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have like, bro, come on, bro. You tried me, bro. In that last song, you played my shit. Right now, I would have gave him the money still. I would have gave him the 300. Yeah, bro, listen, play that shit again and shout me out, bro. That's my shit. I ain't no little baby, bro. Da-da-da. What if he's like, that ain't true, nigga? I would have showed him. I would have put, let me show you. Because, you yeah, know, a nigga yeah. going to want research, research right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He going to want to see. And when I show him, he'd have been like, damn, all right, just you got damn, it. my fault. <laughs> and you made 300. You know what True. I'm saying? So he's gonna go back on him like my fault, my fault, my fault. Yeah. You already know it's that new J Deuce I'm right now. Order a bottle so the sparkles mm-hmm. go crazy. Yeah. She, what you doing? Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm on that same time. Same I'm on that same yeah, time. Yeah. If he's at live, I'm probably at live. Live too. Okay. He's like, right. that's me on the hook, no, nigga. Exactly. She, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? Tell that, man. For I'm real, man. Man. That damn it duo. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, what else you guys got coming for yourself? You know what's crazy actually before I even say that? My sister put me on to you, which is a little different. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My sister was like, Yo, I, I know this dude Sheed, blah, blah, blah. Heard the music, I'm like, Circuit Oh, alright. Wow. And that's my sister. So I'm like, my sister got an ear, my fool. You know <laughs> Shout out my sister Bev, you know what I'm saying? We love you, Bev. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What what song did she hear from? What what song was it? That I she can't heard? even think. She just It was a while ago Shout I can't get Shout, Shout out to Bev though yeah. That's what's up That's like Well that's the goal You know what I'm saying Like mm-hmm. You know yeah, Like sh- Man like I just been kind of Like I said Been working Like because Before Deuce popped up here I was um Working with Zay You know what I'm saying Doing dropping drums With Zay and then, like, you know, like I said, I do got, I got a lot of good music and, like, you know, a select few people, I send it around and, yeah. you know, they hear it. So, like, you know, they're just waiting for me to hit the scene, like, like I said, so it's just appreciated for Deuce putting me on the album and all of that type of stuff. It's just Wait. like a easier, like a stepping stone for me to just b- make my way to gain my own fans and stuff like that. Because, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Definitely. So that's w- just always a what can we expect from she? I mean, Big like, things. like so you know, I like I said, me and Zay is about to drop this album. It's really it's supposed to be dropped, but it's having a little problem with the upload. But it's coming out soon. We just dropped the uh, if you want to video. It's mm-hmm. out on YouTube mm-hmm. now. Um, but we got the summer nights um, <clears throat> video. You know, dedicated to this summer. The mixtape rather um, about seven joints. Me and Zay, six or seven. Mm-hmm. And um, after that, I'm just gonna start branching off, doing my own. Just after you know, after the shit with me and Deuce, so we're gonna knock all of that out. Mm-hmm. And then I just got my own, a lot of music in the cut. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just gonna come up with my own mixtape. You know, I got. I mean, like really, I got like four and five mixtapes like right now. In the you stash. know what I'm saying? But, yeah. But. I'm going to just take my time with it and, you know, strategically put them out there and then hopefully... He's going to have his own YouTube. Mm-hmm. He's going to be dropping hit after hit. I mean, you can yeah. tune in exclusively. You know what I mean? It's just like, making you know, it happen, I'm just man. giving everybody a taste, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we trying to bring him out so, you know, it's easier for him to... Instead of him dropping it by himself and, and you know what I'm saying, being on, our, on the island... You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He come with he he family, so you know we bring him in like he family, and we, we gonna drop these songs, and he ain't paying mm-hmm. nothing. Like you know what I'm saying? And, and we and we want I want my fans and, and all the people that support me. I want them to hear them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like that's just gonna bring everybody to gravitate to all of us. Period. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that's just really the goal. Cause I'm like. To me, I'm a humble. I'm like really a humble person, so I feel like if everybody is good, then we're all good. Mm-hmm. So gotta share you know it. What I mean? I mean, as I, I feel like everybody it. wants their individual accolades, and that's a part of being a team, but you got to just know how to be on that team. Like, i always been good at that. You know gotta learn so, how to play your part, play man. Ball, man. Gotta play your part. a point guard, shooting guard, center, coach. Right. There's Some, everybody, sometimes everybody want to be Michael Jordan. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
The you water boy is still the man. You know, he's I mean, keeping you thirsty. He's yeah. keeping you no, part. You know, not part. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna play it like that. Like I'm definitely. I'm nice though. Yeah, like, he's not nice though. Like, uh, <laughs> I fuck with like, uh, I feel nice. Like, you know I mean? I'm nice yeah. though. Like I ain't playing with nobody. Like I'm just, but that's just my natural character though. That's what time But when it, it comes to the music though, like I'm definitely stepping on niggas' heads a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? But I'm tell just, him again. Say it again. I mean, yeah, I'm stepping on niggas' heads. <laughs> you know but, what I'm saying? But, you know. That's this just, shit fit to get political in a gonna, second. It's gonna come. It's gonna and it's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. Like you know, you know what I'm saying? saying. Because that's what I want to do. With it, have fun, make yeah. money. Yeah. You know, live our dream. That's just yeah. the reason why we do it. So, yeah, yeah. thanks. Mm-hmm. Tell everybody where to follow you. All that good stuff. Um, yeah. Everything. She 100K. Um, snap. She 100K. Instagram is actually big. She 100K though. B I G S H E E D one zero zero K. Um. And I can tell you the 100K shit, is, it comes from down south. Excuse me. Damn, why would they do that? But listen. <laughs> <laughs> why would they do that? <laughs> Try no. But, um, yeah, that's the 100K. It's like, I'm she, that's my name. But the 100K is just a taste of the North Carolina in me. Like, that's my, that's dedicated to my boys. Like, like, cause, like, they got me to take it seriously. Like, they got me to, like, be like, yeah. Like, I always was like, I just, like I said, I always just was the type of nigga like, oh, yeah, you're making music? All right, let me do a verse. I'm on a verse real quick. Niggas be like, damn, that's just fire. Like, why you don't make your own music? I'm just like, nah. So, you know, I'm 27, so just until about three years ago, I just started being like, yeah. And so they always been who I was around. So, you know, that's why it's always going to be 100K. Mm. Nice. Good shit. shit. Mm. Gang where, they, where they follow you at? J Deuce, you they know, know where to follow him. J Deuce, the pop pirate. pirate. All you gotta do is type it in. I'm somewhere. If you ain't there, you I'm everywhere. You never there. You, you know ain't at the table. You on the table. Turn the fuck up. That. You know that long. Let's be saying Molly World. You know what I'm saying. And um, that's that. You know that a situation where I lost my homeboy. That's really what sparked all this. Mm. Now it's time to drop. Like now it's time to, cause life. It's very short. Short, mm-hmm. yeah. especially the life that we live in, 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 in the city that we live in, the things that we be doing and stuff like that. That's really like you know, you really gotta be out on your p's and q's and keep your head on the swivel. So you can't wait. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just you know what I'm saying. It's live and that's it's reloaded. It's time to go. It's time yeah. to go crazy. Right. You all social saying? media platforms, all the yeah, J Deuce, you know the J Deuce, everything. You type in J Deuce the Pop Pirate on anything, Google Play, Amazon. You get on Xbox, type me in. You get on Xbox. PlayStation, <laughs> type me in. Anything that related to music, type me in, and I'm gonna pop up. You know what I'm saying? I promise you won't be disappointed. I got a wide variety of songs. Mm-hmm. If you don't like one, you might like another. You never know. Word. The album's crazy. You're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you gonna you gonna be you gonna be you're going to be uh, 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 satisfied, man, for real. Because a lot of people, I was satisfied. I'm I'm, I'm, very, I'm a big critic of my own music. Yeah. So, and I didn't listen to a lot of it. Like, I, you know, I made it. So we listened to a lot of it, and then I stopped. Like, before the tape, like, probably two weeks before the tape, I was like, I ain't listening to nothing of mm-hmm. mine. So when it dropped, I was like, listening to it, I'm like, okay. And the songs is going, I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay, all right, you did, all right, you did your thing. Nah, okay, <laughs> yeah. Lenny, nah, you did your thing. So, shit. And I was just like, he's like, you, he's like I did my thing. You yeah, did your thing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you did, did your thing. thing. <laughs> yeah, that's for real, man. Nigga, she was, yeah, we was banging and the man, room, banging shit, around, I was just man. like, like I said, just like, man, that's what's up, too. Because I didn't know I was going to make five songs. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just we, you know what I'm saying? We came in, we're like, just, five we made, we, yeah, we make music so fast. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I make songs. The five ten, maybe fifteen twenty minutes, and um, me and him together, like we both making the songs at the same pace. So yeah. it's like boom, 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 boom. It ain't nothing, especially if we got five six hours in the studio. We we finna go crazy, you know what I'm saying? So and we always book that. Yeah, we always book that much time every time. So it, it's no less than five hours. So unless I got like a little feature or something, I'm trying to lay down. But mm. other than that, we in there for dinner all night. So it's crazy. Makes sense. Five tracks on it. Good shits or. Or fire. You, you know, know what that, I'm saying? Man. You know right. that, man. Well, and we I, definitely want to thank you guys for coming tonight. Yeah, definitely. Um, we want to thank everybody for viewing. Make sure that you guys check out thisistheplug.com. This Shout is out the BOA plug. Studios. And 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. We at, uh, we going to exhale right now. We got the album. Oh, okay. Exhale. Yeah, that we going to get a little Patron in my Patrizzi. system. Patrizzi. You know. Uh, Let's go. Uh, appreciate y'all for release. Appreciate y'all for coming through. You, you know, know that. Man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. Again. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? A new location. Yeah. You're always welcome. Yeah, always. definitely. I'm going um, to come and grace y'all with a, uh, I got a, I got a new song I'm about to drop, big project. I'm really going to, um, the next song I'm really, I'm really going to like do some major stuff with it. Try to do the world stuff that I ain't trying to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Really to do some major stuff. I want y'all to really give me an honest ear on the song before mm-hmm. I even do it. I'm before letting a lot, letting a couple people hear it. You know what I'm saying? Just to really get some honesty. You singing on that shit, nigga? Nah. <laughs> nah. But I, hey, I'm trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? So one day, if you ever hear me mm-hmm. sing your girl panties off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's going to shout out to she. Because he, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gonna you did me, me wrong. I'm going to get him out of him. You see, yeah, you, you did, did me wrong, wrong yeah. too. And see, you got switched it up on that. And it's right? the same beat. So what, this, what the thing was. was sacrifice. Yeah, we it's supposed to be. It's the same exact beat. I got to I didn't even catch that. That's crazy. That's the best thing. So we supposed to do a joint. Video. I thought that too. I thought yeah. it was just the same song. No, we were supposed to do a joint uh, video. Like we were supposed and to that's, do. That's that's kind of the concept. That's yeah. The so same song. We we'll do it. You did me wrong. Because I was like getting oh. ready, so I didn't even. Yeah, that, that, we, that. that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. You did me wrong. Well, I'm gonna be like going through a little situation or else with a, with a, with a female, mm. and then um he gonna pick me up and then hustle and sacrifice come on. Word. And then we ride off in the sunset and we roll and we smoke. Those lunch. was that was crazy. Those was the original. Those was the first ones. That we made together, so when, like when he first got here, the yeah, first two yeah. songs that we made. Yeah, 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 off the rip, off the rip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, shout out to BOA Studios, man. Yes, uh, Appreciate y'all, B-O-A, man. They do anytime. You know, hit him up anytime. Rest in peace, my guy. We overtime. <laughs> and, I know, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, nigga, I'm, I'm, I got this up. <laughs> no bullshit. I'm high off contact right now. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Check Once again, time. follow your boy at Go DJ. I am your boy Go DJ. Maddie D in the building. We out this bitch, you heard? And this is the plug. Can you be my-